Hello there, Jose Rodriguez here. In a previous video, you saw me refilling some of my PGI 72 cards for the Pro 10. I filled just one actually, and it was one with the Chroma Optimizer. And as you can see, I used a little bit of ink, probably about 15 mLs worth. So I'm going to show you how I aspirate ink from the original PGI 29 cards that are for the Pro 1. These are part of the ones that I received in a almost 600 plus unit box of these cards. Now in order to determine whether there's even any ink in them other than physically trying to aspirate the ink, you can go ahead and weigh them. Now the empty cards weigh, and it, this is depending on your particular scale and how accurate it is, they can weigh in from about 44 grams to around 46. So we'll go ahead and zero out the scale and we'll go ahead and weigh some of these supposedly empty cards and you can see this one weighs 48 so if you subtract 44 46 from 48 you have a couple of grams of ink this one has 52 54 so that's quite a bit i may only need this much and maybe one from another one of these cards 48 and let's see what this one has 52 okay so let's go ahead and concentrate on the ones that have the most go ahead and prepare the little bottle where we're going to store the contents and you're going to need a regular syringe but you're going to need a regular refilling tip and these can be obtained from just about any third party ink and refilling type company but specifically i got these from inkjetcarts.us and basically they allow you to reach the internal opening of the bag. This is a double layer type port. You have the external port that seals around the printer ink stem, and then you have the internal port that actually holds the ink inside the bag, and so it will not leak out. So the idea is you need to penetrate both of them, and in order for you to do that, you need a longish type tip. So a regular syringe like this will not reach enough inside the uh, ink bag and specifically when you're refilling these you have to make sure that you have that port in the ink bag not just the external one the port in the ink bag completely sealed against your refilling tip and for that i suggest you get a brand new one one that it is nice and smooth and not slightly marred like mine is and the black you see here is just ink and uh, i actually bleach these out and so they're very clean and you know pigment ink just does not bleach out especially black so just because you see that little black spot there doesn't mean that it is dirty all right so we're going to go ahead and insert the tip into the port and at this point i'm going to push all the way in and seal it and you can see i am extracting some ink and in this case i got about 7 ml i cannot pull any more ink out that's it the ink bag is totally collapsed and so this is very good now remember i probably used around 15 16 ml is what the original cards hold total volume so again we'll do this with the second one and i'll just continue pulling back and we are gosh we are at 15 ml notice i'm drawing air vacuum so that is it. These cards are now empty. Let's go ahead and weigh them to verify the fact that they are between 44 and 46 grams. Make sure that I zero out the scale, otherwise it will not be correct. 44. And we'll check this one. It should also weigh 44 as well. And it does. So now I do not need to draw anymore because all I wanted to do was replenish what I drew. So this has about 6 ml of ink in it. And this one has about 4. Maybe 6. 5 and a half, let's call it. Alright, so that's basically it. That is really great. And it's a way to be able to harvest ink. At least I'm lucky enough to have the source. So I just wanted to share that with you. If you know of a local studio um, that happens to use one of these printers, a Pro One, or even one of the uh, the new ones, a Pro One Thousand, talk to them. Tell them who you are. Tell them what you do, 
and maybe you can get their empty so-called empty uh, Pro 1000 carts Canon Pro 1000 carts and you will be able to draw ink out of them believe me just like I do and so now I simply replace the the lid on my squeezy bottle and I am ready to go the next time I need chroma optimizer and believe me this stuff will go like there's no tomorrow you will use this up so quickly you will know what you won't even know what happened because it is used probably the highest rate of use of any of the other nine inks or colors this is what you need whenever you are printing on satin luster or glossy paper stock or some of the burrito papers that are semi-gloss will definitely use your chroma optimizer like there's no tomorrow so you need probably four times the amount of volume per set for instance so if you go through a set of cards you may go through four individual chroma optimizer cards and that's just the way it is that's the same thing with the epson r2000s and 1900s and any other printer that uses some sort of gloss enhancing type liquid okay so i hope you enjoyed this I saw how easy that was and you can do that exactly the same for epson cards some of the videos that i showed you before where i actually harvest ink from epson cards that's how i do it now i have a slightly different tip that i use and those can be purchased from inkjet mall just look at their refilling tip search box and you will find them and they have several styles and types so each of them has a purpose and each of them works great for its own purpose all right so if you like this please like please subscribe please share and oh by the way um i guess i haven't seen anybody do any tries for the raffle for the modified epson t58 carts come on folks this is the best deal you will ever find five bucks and you get a chance to win a fully modified and reset set of t58 cards for your epson 3800 and if you have a 3880 i will throw in two vivid magenta cards as well all right so until the next time happy printing and bye bye